ก่อนที่จะรับพร Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Watch the breath all the way in. Watch it all the way out. Give the mind a foundation right here in the present moment, so it's not running around all over the place. You have to be able to exert some restraint over the mind if you're going to have any, get anything good out of it. Because otherwise, it just goes off and digs up old garbage here and creates a mess over there and can create all kinds of problems. It's like an animal that hasn't been trained. You can't live with the animal unless you've got it trained. Well, it's the same with your own mind. We live with this mind when it hasn't been trained. And we suffer the consequences because we don't realize how good it is to have a trained mind. It sounds like we're tying it up and restricting it, and there are some restrictions. But at the same time, because you learn how to observe a few restrictions, you get to live in a better place. It's like having an animal in your house. If it's not trained, you have to keep it out in the yard. But once it's trained, then you bring it into the house, and the animal gets a lot more comfortable. So while we're meditating here, this is one way of giving comfort to the mind. To compensate for the fact that it's not wandering around the way it used to. So try to breathe in a way that feels really good. This is the important part about all the virtues in the path that are, seem to be restricting. The virtue of patience, the virtue of equanimity, the virtue of restraint. They depend on finding a new source of happiness inside. If you just clamp down on yourself without giving yourself any compensation, the mind's going to rebel. So you've got to give the mind a good place to stay inside. Once you've got that good place to stay inside, then you can look around at the things you hold on to outside. And it's a lot easier to see what you really have to let go of. Because if you don't have anything good inside, then you're going to just latch on to whatever there is outside, good or bad, because that's all you've got. But when you've got something better inside, then you can hold on to that. And then you look around and you say, oh my gosh, these things I've been holding on to. They're like knives. I've been stabbing myself with them. And I hold on to them and it cuts through my hands. Maybe it's a better time, good time to let go. So give yourself something good to hold on to, and then learn to look around you as to the things you should let go, where you should exercise restraint, where you should exercise patience. The rains retreat is beginning in a couple of days. It's a period of three months when it's traditional. The people look at their behavior and decide to improve their behavior in one way or another for the entire three months. Give yourself practice. As if you say, I'm going to do this for the rest of my life, sometimes it seems a little bit too much to take on. But if you make a promise with, to yourself for three months, it's bearable. You can stick with it and you build up a momentum, and hopefully by the end of the three months you've decided you really do like this. So look at your behavior and see where, where it is that you've been allowing the mind to just wander around totally out of control, like an untrained animal. When is the time to bring in a leash, but also bring in some food? So the animal will be happy to stay on the leash. So the meditation is one of the ways of providing food here. Breathe in, breathe out in a way that feels really good. When you've got that food for the mind, then it's a lot easier to make it heal when you want it to heal and to come when you want it to come. Stop thinking when you want it to stop, to think when you want it to think. You want to make sure the mind is under your control so you can live together in peace. And the mind can actually be really helpful for the sake of your true happiness and not just tearing it to shreds all the time. So here's some good food for the mind. And give it the good leash of the realization, okay, your actions really do have consequences. So you better watch out for the things that are going to cause trouble. When you have that combination, then it's a lot easier to tame the mind and to get it to do what you want it to do, to be the mind you want it to be.